Hey everybody. Today's video we are going over a knee case. It was actually a little bit of a meniscus issue and irritation. So we're going to go through what exercises one, decrease some pain, and two, things he went home with um, to kind of build some support around the area. So Des is going to take us through it. What yeah. was the presentation like? Uh, so presentation of this patient, he was experiencing pain on the outside of his knee. Um, we actually been working with him for a while for this knee complaint. And so we were in the process of building up his strength again for the exercise called a split squat. I'll coach you through that in a moment. But he was going home trying to do the split squat and noticed that during the motion, he was experiencing a little clicking into the knee. Um, and every now and then he felt like it was going to give way. Um, so he just didn't feel super comfortable with the exercise. So he came back and was like, help. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to figure out what's going on here. So the first thing we wanted to do was assess the split squat. So if you're okay, I'll coach you through that. Cool. Um, I'll have you go ahead and just face forward just like you are. I like to say feet are um, like hip width apart, like they're on a railroad track. Okay. That gives you a little bit more width and stability here. Uh, the way we were coaching it is he's going to kind of push down through the ground here. If there's a piece of paper or your life savings, I was going to try to steal it from him. Got it. Okay. He's looking over the Grand Canyon just a little bit just to put some more weight into this front leg. Like so? Um, or like so? <laughs> middle of the two. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And from this position here, he was going to push down through the ground and let his body come up like so. So he was doing okay, but he felt as he was coming down here, he was feeling that discomfort. He was feeling that clicking and popping along the outside of the knee here. Okay. So instead of changing the exercise altogether, we decided to play with some of the exercises we were given, giving him in preparation for this movement. So the first one's going to be what we call a knee pump. And so we had him go through, so leg extended like so. I'll just show you the setup here, just hands here. Okay, you okay in this position? Mm -hmm. As long as it's comfortable, you can always play around with it, whatever feels cool. good to you. And what we're gonna do is just kind of pump this extension. You can change it, there you go. Pump that extension. And he was working to push this knee down towards the ground here. While we were going through this, he stated that he was feeling a little pulling here in the area along the top of his knee. And we always ask, what do you feel? Is it painful or non-painful? So his answer was, I feel a pulling, but it's not painful. Okay. So we said, okay, well, let's see what happens after we do a few more here. So we went through a few more. As we're going through it, we noticed that he started to feel stuff back here along the back of the knee. Is that okay. where I should be feeling it? And that's kind of what we're looking for. We're just okay. looking to see if we can challenge some range of motion here. It's not painful, so that's always okay. If it was painful, we might change things up or modify things accordingly. So it's okay if I feel my discomfort at first, but the more I do, if it's less, it's okay? If, if it's it gets less. more or stays the same, maybe don't do this? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right there. Awesome. So we went through about 20-ish or so. Then we had him retest. So his outcome measure was actually that split squat. So we brought him back to the split squat. Okay, same position. He was pushing down through the ground, got himself ready, coming up. He still felt a little discomfort on the outside of the knee here. Maybe like it was given way, a little clicky poppy. So we decided to challenge that same side glute. So I'm gonna have you go down on the ground. Uh, We're gonna go nice and low here. So actually keep the arm down like that, there you go. And what we did, this looks a lot of familiar, like really familiar to a lot of the exercises we do. Normally we'll coach someone to try to lift up. Today we're, we coached him through just pushing the pressure down into the ground. So he wasn't physically going anywhere here. He was just working on pushing the pressure down to this region right here. Okay, and we were working to hold that as, as hard as he could. Life savings are still here. Stay there. Stay there. Where should I feel this? Uh, you're going to be feeling this all along the outside glute. I definitely do. Okay, so we got that glute firing pretty good. Okay. So how many reps of these did you guys so do? So this one is going to be effort-based. So for him, we went until it was about 60-70% effort. Um, the term we use, like to use is like the toasty buns. So the outside of the hip is going, but it's not painful. It just feels like it's working a lot. Not burnt buns. Not burnt buns, just toasty buns. Got it. Okay. So after we challenged that, we brought him back through to that split squat again. Okay. Retested. And he said it felt great. So the moral of the story here is it's not necessarily that the exercise is wrong. It's not even that you're doing the exercise wrong. Sometimes it's just a matter of we need to do a little bit more to prepare the body to be able to handle these things. Cool. So getting the glute firing helps support the knee. 
and conditions like a meniscal issue, usually it tends to be that there's a lot of load happening in the knee itself and we're not using the other structures of the leg to support it. So by building a little support and also telling the knee it's okay to move a little bit, we were able to access that range again without the clicking, without it feeling like it was giving way, and we were able to send him home with this exercise, which was a big win for him. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So basically, if you guys want to know a little bit more, you can take advantage of the resources that might be below. Go ahead and click on that. It'll be some cool stuff for you to start with. If you want to dive right into what you can do, should you take away certain exercises, are there different ones you should be doing to prime the body, like Des said, then go ahead and reach out to us virtually or in person, and we'd love to help guide you in the right direction.